Good morning to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I say good morning to your health in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning to your career. Good morning to your destiny. Good morning to your finances, to your marriage, to your spiritual life, to your family, to your businesses, to all that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the light of God shine forth on you. Let the light of God shine concerning you in the name of Jesus Christ. Instead of sorrow, instead of weeping, may you have joy. Instead of sorrow, instead of weeping, may you be peaceful in the name of Jesus. In every aspect of your life, I say good morning to you. Have joy in Jesus' name. Welcome back to the channel. I know you all say I, I have quit, you know. <laughs> I have backslidden. Uh, it's none of that. Um, actually, my my laptop has been held hostage for the past few months. Um, me and the youth at our church were working on a film and there was literally no space on my laptop to do anything. So now that it is freed up, then I can get back to making the videos and yeah it's something i really enjoy doing so i missed you all but i am back and we are here to meditate on the word of god because that is what we do it is the word wednesday and as the word of god says then those who feared the lord you all know the verse what did they do they spoke to one another so the lord listened and he heard them so a book of remembrance is written before him for those who fear the lord and who meditate on his name Today, the meditation is all about giving thanks. Today, we're going to learn some awesome things concerning giving thanks. And we're going to debunk the popular saying that some of us say. All right. And um, yeah, thanksgiving, 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 thanksgiving. You know what? Let's kick it off in, in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 13. We're going straight into it. You know, we do have time to dilly dally talk about it. We're straight into the word. Pop, pop. <laughs> I have been itching. For too long, I've been away. I've been itching. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, Hebrews chapter 13. We will take it from verse 13. Hebrews 13, 13. Therefore, let us go forth to him outside the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek the one who is to come. Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of all lips, giving thanks to his name. This is the sacrifice of praise. The fruit of our lips. What is it? Giving thanks to his name. To whose name? To the name Jesus. The sacrifice of our praise is giving thanks to the name Jesus. Give thanks. Learn to give thanks, people. Learn to give thanks. In all things, give thanks. For all things, give thanks. Yes, learn to give thanks. One of the, the ways that we, we don't realize that we fail and we give the enemy an upper hand over us is in our failure to give thanks. I often use this example to help people to understand that. Let's say I am your enemy, okay? Or maybe I am your classmate, some bully at school, okay? And every day... Just to make you cry, I come to you and I pinch you. And when you start crying, I start laughing. And I, I, my day is made because by pinching you, I make you cry. Oh, I come to you, I insult you, and I spoil your whole day. No, remember, I'm a bully. So this is what pleases me. So anytime I can get to cause you to be angry, to cause you to cry, this is what pleases me. But if one day I come to pinch you and I don't cry, Maybe I try pinching you again. You don't cry. I try calling you names. You don't cry. Maybe you even laugh. Maybe you... Me being the bully, I don't get any joy out of that. So when I see you not giving me the desired response, the desired reaction, then guess what? 
then I'm going to stop pinching you. I'm going to stop pricking you. I am going to stop doing what I'm doing. Here is something that the children of God fail to understand and realize. The enemy of your soul hates when you give God thanks. What does he want you to do? He wants you to complain. He wants you to murmur. He wants you to make noise about everything. He wants you to talk about my situation or this or that and talk about all the bad and, and all the negative. This is what the enemy of us wants you to do. But the moment you start thanking God, is like he loses it. He does not want that to happen at all. So if trouble happens in your life, and every trouble that happened, everything that happened, every situation you go through, you give God thanks. And you know the enemy of your soul is the one who sends that situation. Then what's going to happen? Then he will stop trouble you. Because every occasion, you are giving God thanks. You bounce your toe, you give God thanks. You in a financial situation, you give God thanks. Guess what? He will stop doing those things because every time you do it, you give God thanks. He does not want you to give God thanks. He does not want God to get any glory. And this is what you are doing when you are saying, thank you, Jesus. You are saying, Lord, I know everything is in your hands. I know you are in total control of everything. When you say, thank you, Jesus, you are saying, I am not worrying, Lord. This is your will. This is to strengthen me. This is to build me. This is to make me a new person. This is to prepare me for tomorrow trouble. So every time you say thank you, Jesus, you are expressing your contentment in the ability and the wisdom of God. That's what you're doing. Prophet T.B. Joshua put it this way. He said, thank you, Jesus, is the reply of a happy heart. But you know, some people, they are too troubled to say thank you. They cannot get their eyes out of the situation for one second to say thank you. All they think about is that situation, that situation. Oh, where am I going to get food to eat? My children are hungry. I have bills to pay. School fee here and there. This trouble over here, that trouble over there. And they don't find time to say thank you, Jesus. Just relax. Say thank you. Say thank you, Jesus. I remember this time some years ago. I was coming home from work and I just got off the bus and when I got off the bus, I realized I left my wallet on the bus and at that time I was messaging a friend of mine and I told her that I left my wallet and she was kind of panicking and whatever. I said, don't worry about that. You never think give thanks. So my father reminded me that to so give thanks. So immediately... I open my mouth and I start saying, thank you, Jesus. No panic. I stood in the exact same position. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It didn't take five minutes. There came the bus making another round and I stopped the bus. I went into exactly where I was seated and there was my wallet there in the exact same place with all the money I left inside of it. And yes, by the time I got down from the bus, there were other people on the bus. So when the bus driver came back and I found my wallet, he said, wow, that was really a wallet for true. <laughs> I just laugh because I know it is God. They say, oh, oh, it's yours, so you must get it back. It's your wallet for true. No, it's God. You know how many people lost their wallet? Somebody stole their wallet. They never got it back. All their cards were compromised. The cash taken, all those things, important information lost. Thank you, Jesus. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of First Thessalonians. Probably... One of the most quoted passages of scriptures. But First Thessalonians chapter 5. For the sake of time, we'll just take it from verse 16. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What is the will of God for you? You always say, oh Lord, let your will be done. The will of God for you is to rejoice always, to pray without ceasing, and to give 
thanks in all things. And you might say, okay, well, the Bible say give thanks in all things, but it doesn't say give thanks for all things. Now pause there. Let's go to the book of Ephesians chapter 5. You know, people always say in what they want, but then when they are confronted with the scripture, with the word of God, <laughs> it's a different story. Ephesians chapter 5, we'll take it from verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk of wine, which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. Verse 19. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Verse 20. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So for those of you who have been deceiving people and telling them the Bible says give thanks in all things, not for all things, you are a liar. Let me read verse 20 again. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of of our Lord Jesus Christ. I give him thanks in all things. And I give him thanks for all things. That is what the apostle and them were doing. So why should we do anything different? If they were getting results from doing it. Then why should we be doing anything different? Give thanks in all things. And we give thanks for all things. In all things. For all things. What do we do? We give thanks. Even Jesus Christ gave thanks all the time. But you know, we'll, we'll come to Jesus in a little while. But here's what the word of God says. And you know what? Let's turn to it. In the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. All things work together for good. So if all things work together for good, then I give God thanks for all things. In all things and for all things. I know you have been told, God say give thanks in all things and not for all things. The person who told you that is a liar. If all things work together for my good, then I give God thanks for all things. Because all things are for my good. All things work together. Remember Joseph when he was sold and then he became the prime minister and there was his brothers before him? He said, I don't hold any grudge against you. You meant it for evil, but God meant it for my good. So even in that situation and for that situation, exactly how it occurred, Joseph gave God thanks for everything. Because if it did not happen, how it happened, he would not be in that situation that he found himself as the prime minister. He gave God thanks for all things. So give thanks in all things, give thanks for all things. As the day is going, children of God, let your heart be in constant meditation, saying thank you, Jesus. When you give God thanks for what you have, you are opening the door to receive more. Giving thanks is an expression of gratitude. Now, let me make something clear. Somebody can say thank you without being grateful. Okay? But it is impossible to be grateful and not say thank you. Let me say that again. Somebody can receive something. Somebody can say thank you for something and not be grateful. They might still back by the person. They might insult the person after they receive it. They might do all sorts of things. Are they grateful? No. They might say thank you. Then we give it to them. They say thank you. Yes. But it is impossible for you to be grateful for something and not say thank you. God honors gratitude. So when you are grateful for what God has done and you say thank you, then you are opening the door that you will receive more. Thanksgiving is creative power. 
the power to make things that are not into what they are. I remember, and I'm not sure how long this video is, I might bring it to an end just now, because I don't know how much time. I remember some years ago that there was this sister at the assembly I was going to, and she had some problems in her marriage for her husband, and her husband was never home, and you know, there was just real trouble in the marriage. And so the Holy Spirit laid on my heart what to counsel her. I say, you know what? Just give God thanks for your husband. And she said, what? You want me to give thanks for that kind of man? I say, yes. I say, everything that this man is not, thank God for it. She said, what? I told her, thank God for a husband that is always home. She said, how can I give God thanks for that? But the man not home. I say, do it. Thank God for a husband who is loving, who is caring, who is all those things. She said, what? She found it so hard to do. But anyway, she decided to obey. And she started doing it. Thanking God for a husband who is always home. Guess what? Her husband starts staying home. Thanking God for a husband who is caring and loving. Guess what? Her husband who was not loving and caring became loving and caring. Why? Because of the power of thanksgiving. When you are saying thank you, you are causing things that are not to become. When Jesus was there before the multitude, he only had five loaves and two fish. What did he do? He gave thanks. And he's giving thanks that loaves. He created loaves. You say that multiplied. He created loaves and fish for the people to get thanksgiving. Before he raised Lazarus from the dead, what was Jesus doing? He was engaged in deep thanksgiving. You would not know, but he was groaning in himself. And then after, he said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know you always hear me, but that is people would know. So Jesus was giving thanks in his heart all the time. All the time. Give thanks. Giving thanks. Do not stop giving thanks. I do not know what you are going through. Give God thanks for that situation. That situation you're going through today is not to destroy you, but to build you, but to take you to a next level. That situation you are going through today is to prepare you for what's to come. That situation you are going through today is to teach you something, is to make you stronger, to make you more resilient, is to test you. Nothing can be proven as valuable unless it has been tested. The gold you wear and the silver and all those things, diamonds, all these things are tested. The tools you use at work, all of them are tested before they can go out. So you, why are you not giving thanks for your test? Yes, you might be hungry today. Say thank you, Jesus. Maybe you had supper to eat last night. There was somebody and there is somebody who has gone many days without eating food. And they are not fasting. Yes, your roof may be leaking. But there is somebody who is sleeping on the road in the rain. Yes, you maybe have a little ache in your leg. But there is somebody who wish they had feet and legs that could actually ache them. But they have no legs. Yes, you are going through some marital trouble and your husband this. But there is somebody whose husband is dead. And they wish the husband was dead. Instead of complaining, give thanks. Let me end with this last thing. The children of Israel were complaining to God about the manner that they had. He said, you take us out of Egypt, we had onions, we had leeks, we had all this thing. We had all this nice food to eat in Egypt. And they bring us out there in the wilderness and all he giving us is manna, 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 manna. We're fed up with this manna thing. We want fish, we want chicken, we want all this stuff. They cry out to Moses. Moses go to God. Moses say, God, God, what kind of trouble you put me in there. God, deliver me from these people. <laughs> God, what, what have I done to deserve this? <laughs> then God heard Moses cry. God said, you know what? I will give these people meat. To feed the whole generation. Moses was skeptical. He was like, what? Where are you going to get that from? If you to kill all the cattle, we're not going to feed all these people. <laughs> God said, don't worry, you'll see. <laughs> And God gave a word to Moses to go speak. He said, Don't worry, tomorrow at this time I will send, I will give you meat. You will eat meat, you will eat meat, you will eat meat. Eat meat until meat starts to come out of your nose. People say, We don't care, just give us meat. Anyways, so sent Sudan, God sent quail. They ate, they ate, till meat had come out of their nose. God killed every single one of them that ate the meat. Every single one of them that ate, God killed. Be grateful. Say thank you. Say thank you, Jesus. 
Give God thanks always. Engage in thanksgiving as a day going. Yes, your boss get you mad. Give thanks. Yes, your co-worker get you mad. Give thanks. Yes, your children get you mad. Your husband, your wife. Give God thanks in all things and for all things. Because all things are working together for your good if you love God. In Jesus' name. This is where we'll bring our video to an end for today. I thank you all so much for being here. I say good morning to you. And congratulations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why am I saying congratulations? Because your joy has come. And I'm celebrating with you. Your promotion has come. Your success. I see you going forward. I see you being promoted. I see you going to new heights, new levels. I see you being where you have never been before. Doing what you have never done before. Having what you have never had before. I see you prospering. I say good morning to you. And congratulations. In Jesus name. They call me Desipo.